Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we got some major breaking news to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so some massive breaking news just came out. So, recently, we saw Hartley Sawyer, who plays Ralph on The Flash, he had some tweets that were resurfaced from the past. They were very misogynistic, and some of them were racist. So, obviously he was trying to make jokes. We can all interpret these supposed jokes in our different ways. And so let's talk about what happened. So, you know, over the last few weeks, some of those tweets were resurfacing, and it started to make the round. So, obviously, the people behind the shows, the actors, they probably all noticed this. And so there were probably conversations in the past few weeks or so regarding what to do. And so, just via The Hollywood Reporter, with an exclusive article, just like half an hour ago, it officially revealed that Hartley Sawyer has been fired from The Flash. So, wow. Hartley Sawyer is gone, he's not gonna come back for Season 7, no more Ralph Dibney, from here on out, Season 6's finale was the final episode, and therefore you can assume with what they have in episode 1, which was episode 20, which they filmed 20% of, and they plan to use that episode as episode 1, film some new scenes as well. I'm guessing they're going to cut all of Hartley's scenes, so no more Ralph Dibney from now on. So, you know, he's been fired, he is gone, and he's not coming back to the shows. So that is some major breaking news right there. Because I don't think this has ever been done on any of our DC TV shows. Like, people have been recast, people have you know, left the show, but I don't recall anyone ever being fired from any of our DC TV shows, so this came as a very shocking announcement. Obviously, I saw the tweets, and I was like, holy shit, like, how did we not know about this in the past? But to be completely honest, this came out of nowhere. Like, I thought they would have some talks behind the scenes, I thought that maybe they would make an apology, put it out there on the CW, like on their social networks, Obviously, Hartley Sawyer would comment on it, Eric Wallace, the showrunner, would comment on it. I thought that was what they were going to do, but no, this comes out of completely out of nowhere, and they decide to fire him. And obviously, you guys can argue in the comments, was this the right idea or not? I think overall, with what's happening in the world right now, I think this is definitely the right idea. And I think the biggest shame about this is the fact that what's going to happen with Sue, because I do want to talk about Sue in this video, because, you know, she was a new character that they just kind of started to get into. And now this has happened, and, you know, her storylines are completely running parallel with what happened with Ralph. You know, from, you know, whenever they first met, like the start of this season. And it was going to continue on to the next season, and probably in episode 20, which will be episode 1 now. So, you know, what's going to happen with Sue? So... We'll talk about Sue in a minute, but we're going to be going through this article, so this is how it goes in The Hollywood Reporter. Actor Hartley Sawyer has been fired from The Flash after a host of tweets containing misogynistic and racist references were surfaced in the past week. The tweets, all from before he joined the CW series, make reference to sexual assault, contain racist and homophobic language. Sawyer's Twitter account has been deleted, but screenshots of the old posts have circulated online in the past two weeks is firing also comes amid nationwide protests against systemic racism in the wake of George Floyd's May 25th death in Minneapolis. This is a statement. Hartley Sawyer will not be returning for the seventh season of The Flash, reads a statement from the CW, producers Warner Brothers TV and Berlanti Productions and executive producer Eric Wallace. And this is another quote. In regards to Mr. Sawyer's posts on social media, we do not tolerate derogatory remarks that target any race, ethnicity, national origin, gender, or sexual orientation. Such remarks are antithetical to our values and our policies, which stride and evolve to promote a safe and inclusive productive environment for our workforce. Then they go on to list a bunch of his tweets, which I'm sure most of you guys have seen online and you guys can look it up obviously, but I'm not going to include it in this video because Obviously, that's a thing I think you guys can do for yourself. I've read most of them, and honestly, I don't want to repeat them. So, you know, go check it out if you want to check it out. But Sawyer issued an apology on Instagram saying, in part, my words, irrelevant or being meant with an intent of humor, were hurtful and unacceptable. I am ashamed I was capable of these really horrible attempts to get attention at the time. 
I regret them deeply. This was not acceptable behavior. These words I threw out at the time with no thought or recognition for the harm my words could do and now have done today. Sawyer joined The Flash in 2017 as Ralph Dibney, aka The Elongated Man, recurred on the show initially and was up to a series regular in 2018. So yeah, that is the article, it will be in the description below, and if you want to find showrunner's own personal comments on Hartley Sawyer's firing, you can go check out Eric Wallace's Twitter, where he has released a personal statement from him. And obviously that statement we just read was in regards to the whole network behind the show and also Eric. So yeah, that is the article and what was the reason behind his firing, we obviously know. And so it seems like they just made the flat out decision between everyone working on the show that this wouldn't be, you know, a good thing to continue their relationship with him especially considering what the CW stands for and what the shows strive to be. You know, it's not a very good working environment if they had someone like that around. So obviously you have your own personal opinion, so please do let me know because I can definitely recognize this came out of completely nowhere. We were sort of like expecting an apology or something like that. Obviously he did apologize on Instagram, but you know, I think it's a great stand that the CW Warner Brothers, Belanti Productions and Eric Wallace has made to say we will not tolerate this, nothing like this, even if it was in the past, we can't have that around our sets. But anyway, so let's move on to talk about Sue and what could be happening with Sue. Because at the end of last season, and obviously going into the next three episodes, which will be at the start of the season, you know, there were plans for Sue and Ralph to continue down this storyline. In the comics, they actually become husband and wife, so at one point, you kind of can infer that they were going to start dating or something. Because I think that was the original intent behind bringing Sue to give a companion to Ralph to have, like, a sidekick or someone who is, like, on the same level as Ralph, but doing stuff with him constantly so he's not just, you know, being a detective by himself, but he would have, like, a partner in crime with him. That would be Sue. But, you know, I think it's a real big shame for the Sue actor, that being Natalie Dreyfus, because I really liked her as Sue, and, you know, she's just come on the show, and she would have been around next season, and I think it's just a big shame, especially for her, because she was amazing. And I think most of us were in agreement that we were looking forward to seeing more of her, and I think the biggest casualty of all of this could be her and Sue because, you know, her whole storyline is defined around being with Ralph, essentially. Okay, so talking about next season, what could they do with Sue? So I think there is a chance that instead of Ralph, and hear me out, I think that they might put Sue in as a series regular and replace Ralph. Like not trying to be Ralph, but like to continue being who she was but she will eventually become like a team member of Team Flash and essentially replace the role that Ralph, you know, played in the team, being this kind of funny, quirky character that obviously a lot of people liked Ralph. I really didn't like him in season four, and I actually grew to like him a lot more in season five and six. I think they did a good job with Ralph, and I thought Hartley was good. But obviously now, with circumstances, we're not going to see him anymore, which I don't think is such a shame because, you know, they can't stand for this and we can't stand for this. But I think it would be really nice for the show to actually back Natalie Dreyfus and make her continue as her role as Sue in this next season and continuing on to the future. And I think, you know, because of her storyline being so much linked so to Ralph, I think scrap that storyline. When you start the next season, what you do is you just slowly write her into becoming part of Team Flash. So let me know, what do you think about my Sue theories and what do you think about, you know, what I think about Sue? And obviously let me know what do you think about this massive breaking news regarding Ralph and, you know, Harley's not going to be coming back to the show ever again. Were you shocked? What's your thoughts on all of this? So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.